Scarfo away from his hand with no problem. J-Dub has picked the score. Let's see how close he is. Oh, Claudio Montagna Jr. has been watching the Jose Vitor Lemme video. Yeah, but he slowed it down a little bit. <laughs> Eight and three quarters. <laughs> a little bit smaller step, but JW nailed this one right here. He talks about Claudio cutting him off, and that's because it's not a guy that really gets forward a whole lot. He just rides side to side and works against some bulls, some bulls it won't, but it fit this one to a team. It's fantastic for Claudio that he has a qualified ride to end these world finals, but let's excited to be here. He feels lucky to be here and happy to be here, and he's putting in the work. It is not the way he wanted to end 2019, but Joao can head off into the sunset of the season with a qualified ride. And Mac, often that's motivation enough for most of these guys. 80 well, That's where Joao, right here, what you're seeing, this is where he makes his money. Bulls that do this right here, very, very seldom do they get away from Joao. That's just an outstanding ride, and he's been doing it for a long time. That one score puts him in the top overall. And we saw bad decisions at this level back in Houston. Ramon loves the left. It works for him this time. A third qualified ride, and he improves his own fortunes heading into the championship round. Justin brings up a great point. You know, most bulls, when they say turn back to the left, all their momentum, they're trying to throw you to the right. And you can tell side he takes you on, and you see Ramon kind of fighting, but or fixing both things throughout this ride. You see him a little bit to the inside. He lets it, he waits on that bull. Now, right now, he's a little bit to the outside, and that bull's tightening it up. Now he goes back down into the inside. There was a lot of things going on in that ride. Yeah, and he... He was doing a great job. Really close right there, looking like could have been called for a slap. Was a, uh, that's a close one. Luciano De Castro conquers pound sand, and he is on the move upwards. He has a fourth qualified ride. Yeah, we're getting so some, some momentum going in this place, you know, and that's what one great ride when you see that go in front of you, you get pretty fired up, especially when you're Luciano and you've got this bull. 86 points, compliments of pound stand, Ty. Yeah, this bull has a ton of timing round and round to the left. You see everyone, every jump and every kick is just like the one that came before it. Not really in there, just really find his groove. Luciano moves all the way up to third overall in the event.